she rock this beat. going on YouTube it's your boy Richie Ruckus we are back here today it is Friday December 6th we are back with a brand new sneaker pickup I'm gonna hit you with that unboxing and that review I'm hoping to get into an on foot the weather in Philly right now is absolutely crazy it's torrentially downpouring this is a pair of sneakers that I, I want to wear and want to destroy over time not destroy them all in one not getting them all beat up in one take. We're going to get into that during the review of the sneaker. And um, that's pretty much it. Recently just restocked some sneaker things items on RichieRuckus.com. If you have not purchased from me before. Or if you've been looking for a specific sneaker things piece. I have done a restock for Cyber Monday. And it is still going on right now. RichieRuckus.com for all your sneaker things needs. That being said. You know why you're here. You know the drill. Let's get a glimpse. All these Warlocks. We have the Nike SB Times Jordan 1 Low Lance Mountain. And again, like the like most Lance Mountain Jordan 1s, these rub off into a different colorway. They start off in this desert ore colorway. And as the wear and tear happens, they go into a UNC Low. And I believe the other one... Sorry, I really haven't looked at them. Yes, the other one goes into a Royal One Low. They come factory laced with these white laces, and then there are a black and a North Carolina UNC colorway lace. When I first seen images of these, I didn't want them. I'm going to keep it 100 with you guys here, as I always tried to do. This wasn't a pair of sneakers I originally wanted. I didn't like how I thought this desert or khaki was going to come out. After having them in hand and seeing them in person today, I had to get them. The story, as you know, I'm a sucker for a story behind the sneaker. I love the Chicago to LA SB Jordan ones that I got. I'm currently rocking my SB Jordan 1 North Carolina Lowe's. From uh, Eric Costin. And it, it's just, I love a sneaker that tells a story. A Nike SB Jordan 1 Low, I think, is super dope. But I was very, very concerned on how this Desert Ore was going to be. And now having them in hand, it feels almost like khaki, like, like the actual material khakis, like a pair of Dickies, like a, like a Carhartt jacket. It's going to rub off and scratch off and rip up into the UNC low on the right sneaker, and then, the, like I said, the left sneaker turns into a Jordan 1 Royal low. Um, having the Royal 1 low and North Carolina 1 low, again, was another reason that played a part into me originally not wanting these. But like I said, I get sucked in. I am a sucker for a story. When a sneaker can tell a dope story, uh, it's something that, you know, gets my brain going, gets the, the the sneaker addict in me going, and it's something that I have to swoop in and grab. These retail for 120 The resale is not going for a crazy amount right now. I believe the last time I looked on StockX, my size was flipping for like 160 So I, I feel like if it's something you're in the market for, if you missed out for retail, the resale is not crazy. As usual, I kind of always go against the sneaker resale game, I, I'm heavily influenced by if you can't get it for retail, then it just wasn't meant to be. I don't like people getting rich of other people's, you know, addiction, craziness, lunacy to have a pair of sneakers. But 120 you couldn't beat the price tag. I feel like when Nike SB, Lance Mountain, Jordan 1 all mix up, I, I feel like they always come out with a very dope sneaker and it's always... You know, a, a great story to be told. And these, as far as Lance Mountain goes, I'm sure it's because of it being a Jordan 1 low, even though Travis Scott kind of drove the hype back into the Jordan 1 low this year. I feel like had this been a Jordan 1 high, they may be going a little bit more crazy over them. I feel like usually the Lance Mountain Jordan 1 kind of garners a higher resale than we're seeing here. Maybe it's the mixed matching pair. And uh, this is why I don't want to wear them out in the rain. I don't know exactly what you have to do. I haven't watched the tutorial. I haven't seen anybody scruff up, rip up their pairs yet. So I don't want to go out in the rain and you know, completely jack up these just for the sake of doing the on foot. This is something that I want to build over time and watch them self-destruct. You know, traditionally, manually, 
you know, just organically. I don't want to just destroy them for the sake of destroying them. So one last look, $120 price point. Like I said, you can't go wrong with these. I wish I could give you guys an own foot, but the weather will not allow it. And the sneaker room is a complete mess right now. Me and they were away for Thanksgiving and I just have stuff all over the place. I don't feel like I can give you guys. I don't think I can give this sneaker. It's just due by just throwing them on and doing them on foot, even though my room is just a cluttered mess right now. So peep my Instagram at Ruck is underscore kicks if you want to see, you know, the the time frame it takes to deconstruct these and the wear and tear that goes into rocking these. Hopefully I'll be back again tomorrow with another video. But until then, I'm Richie Ruckus. Peace! The number you have reached, 911, has been changed.